Hello and welcome to one and all. In today's class, we will move on to the next five mark question from the next unit that is from the theory of distribution. Okay, so the, in that the most important question which is very very frequently asked is the factors determining real wages. So SAQ twenty four. What are the determining factors of real wages? So as usual, I will uh, explain to you briefly what is the meaning of wage. and what are the various types of wages and then we will come to the what are all the various factors that determine the real wage okay yeah now first uh, the meaning of wages so you know that wages is the reward for the factor of production called labor isn't it so the reward paid to a labor for his or her physical or mental skill okay so the landlord is receiving the rent because he is renting the land the capitalist lending the loan okay lending money so for that the capitalist is getting the interest the producer is because he is the one who is organizing everything and he is getting the reward as profit but as far as the labor is concerned the labor is the active factor of production so either he is doing the manual work that is the physical work or he is doing the mental work okay so because of his intelligence and skill so for the services rendered by the labor he has to be remunerated that remuneration is called as wages okay now there are various types of wages the first one is the money wages so the name itself says the wages paid in terms of money okay i mean you might wonder uh, mostly everything is paid in the form of money only but then there are some kind of occupations it is partly is paid in money and partly it is paid in kind also okay so whatever the wages that are paid in terms of money the it, it can be measured in terms of money they are called as the money wages okay now the next one is the real wages so the real wages is the purchasing power of money wages that is the amount of goods and services that can be bought with the money wages okay so the purchasing power of money wages or the amount of goods and services that can be bought with money wage so that means what it depends indirectly on the general price level so if the price level increases the purchasing power of money wage will decrease that means the the laborer will be able to purchase only lesser and lesser amount of commodities on the other hand if the price level decreases the purchasing power of money wages increases and then more and more amount of goods and services can be bought so that is a real wage and apart from this general price level there are other factors also that determine the real wage we will check out that answer okay now the next one type of wages is the time wages so the time wages wages paid according or on the basis of time that is daily weekly monthly or yearly so the same money wages that is paid to the laborers according to the period of time irrespective of the amount of work some laborers are based on daily wage earners so at the end of the day they are getting the wages some uh, some laborer they are getting weekly payment and most of the people they are getting the salaries every month and some people based on the contract they are getting the yearly payment so this is the wages paid according to the time period okay then the next one is the piece wages wages paid according to the amount of work done that is a tailor is paid according to the number of shirts stitched a carpenter is paid according to the number of benches paid so according to the amount of done work done by a particular laborer he is paid the wages see for example tailor one tailor might be able to stitch three shirts per day another tailor might be able to stitch four five shirts per day so the person who is stitching four shirts he is get remunerated more so this is based on the uh, work done so the quality the dexterity the skill of the laborer will be known when we are calculating based on the piece wages okay now these are all the various types of wages okay now moving on to the main question what are all the factors affecting the real wages so the first one already i mentioned to you real wages the purchasing power of money wages okay so the first factor that affects the real wage is the general price level so that this is the formula real wage is equal to money wage divided by general price level so that is if the price level increases that is if p increases real wage will decrease so that means for low real wage so if the price level decreases the real wage will increase so when the price level is more then the real wage is low if the price level is less then the real wage is high okay assuming the money wage is remaining constant okay so that is the first and foremost factor 
that affects the real wages but apart from the real money price level there are other factors that affecting the real wages so let us check out one by one what are all those factors so the second one is the method of payment so some of the occupations they are paid only in cash and some of the occupations they are paid both in cash as well as in kind so for example like some people who work in the railways or bank employees they are getting additional facilities like free housing free medical services free educational facilities for their children so if that is kind partly they are paid in cash partly they are paid in kind so the pay one day that part which is paid in the form of cash that is affected by the price level the remaining part that is paid in the form of kind so all these other facilities they we say it is paid in kind so they are all not affected by the price level so the occupations from which the laborers are getting only in the form of cash for them the real wages are low but whereas the occupations of the laborers who are getting both in cash and kind for them the real wages are high okay then the next one is the regularity of employment so regularity of employment some of the occupations are temporary and irregular like for example singers or artists etc they are i mean their employment is not regular okay so according to i mean luck they are getting the chances okay but whereas some of the occupations they are permanent and regular all the most of the government employee they are having the secured uh, employment okay so you can understand that the real wages of the uh, people who are temporarily employed or whose uh, occupation whose services are irregular then for them the real wages are low compared to the per people who are having the permanent and regular jobs their real wages are high okay then the next uh, uh, factor which affects the real wage is the nature of work so the nature of work some of the occupations are risky and dangerous if for example people working in mines people working in the chemical factory so all those uh, work it involves a danger isn't it there is a, a danger involved in this type of work to that much extent the real wages are low compared to other types of works which are less risky for example the bank employees the teachers so come when you compare the miners or people working in the chemical factory the job of a teacher or a bank employee is less risky so to that much extent the real wages are high so or in other words if the job is the nature of the work is such that it is risky or dangerous the real wages are low on the other hand if it is less risky then the real wages are high okay so the next factor that is affecting the real wages is the conditions of work so fifth one conditions of work so some of the work the conditions are very very improper that is there is no proper duration of time there is no proper ventilation there are no proper recreational facilities so people have to work in uh, haphazard conditions okay so to, like for example people working in the construction sites people working in the factories so their working conditions are not very very conducive so for them the real wages are low compared to the people the laborers who are working under proper working conditions like proper duration of time all this uh, they are having the recreational facilities proper ventilation facilities etc so you can give the example of all the it employees okay so they are having uh, all these facilities so for them the real wages are high okay then the next factor that is affecting the real wages is the subsidiary earnings so sixth one subsidiary earnings subsidiary earnings means additional income so then in some of the occupations there are no there is no scope for earning additional income for example you take the engineers so morning to evening they are working in the company or the factory but then uh, afterward they don't have any scope for earning any additional income so for them the real wages are low but you take the case of teachers doctors lawyers and all so they all have the scope for additional income teachers can work in the school or a college and privately she or he or she can take tuitions doctors morning they can go to the government hospital and evening they can have their own private practice same is the case for lawyers they can go to the court and then again they can have their own private practice so these are all the type of types of professions they are ha having a chance of earning additional income so that is the subsidiary earning so for them the real wages are high okay then the next factor that affects the real wages is something called as the future prospects so seventh one future prospects 
some of the occupations there are uh, chances of promotion okay you are being you can get promotions and there are uh, chance of earning higher and higher uh, levels of income and designations etc but there are some of the occupation there is no chance of getting any promotion see for example you take all the celebrities or the models or the cine actors etc for them the money wages might be very high but they are not having any chance of earning promotions or if there are no scope for few future prospects so to the, for them the real wages are low even though their money wages are high compared to a bank or a railway employee or, pe or people employed in the police services and all so their ranks can get be being promoted their ranks can increase they can get promotion they can get the they are having the future prospects so even though that currently their uh, money wages are low because of the future prospects and they can get the promotions their real wages are high okay then the next one is the timely payment so eighth factor that affect the real wage is something called as the timely payment some of the occupations some of the laborers on that particular date they are sure that they will receive the payment but there are certain type of occupations there is no proper time that this is the date or this is the time period on which the date on which the payment will be made so if there is no regular and timely payment for example most of the people like artists people working on project like only the after the project is completed they will get the payment so they are not sure when they will get the payment so for them the real wages are low compared to people who are working under for example the public sector employees so those people they know on which day they are going to get the payment or even most of the factory workers they all know that mo most of the people working in the colleges or hospitals or everyone they know the staff members they know the so and so date they are going to get the payment so for them the real wages are high okay then the next factor that affects the real wage is something called as the social prestige so ninth factor social prestige some of the occupations it gives social status to the person uh, the occupation that the social prestige social status is there so but some of the occupation there are no special social status involved in associated with it so like for example the bank employees the software employees and all of course their uh, designation is good and they are getting high money wages but you the same thing you compare it with uh, judge or watchman or the traffic constable so for them they they are having some kind of social status or social prestige so for those people the real wages are high compared to a bank officer or a software employee they are i mean their occupation is decent but it is not having that same social prestige which a judge or a watchman or a traffic co constable is having so for them the real wages are low okay and finally the last factor is period and expenses of education so 10th one period and expenses of education so some of the uh, occupations see for example some of the jobs both the person who is highly educated or also applying the person maybe the qualification required is very very minimum so because of the current scenario of joblessness because of the current unemployment rate most of the people are applying even for the same job so let us take the example of a graduate or an undergraduate or applying for a same post so if they are getting the job both of them are getting the same money wages but then the graduate real wage is low because he has spent uh, more uh, i mean one is expenses in finishing the graduation studies and also the time period also so, but the undergraduate without wasting the money without wasting the time period he or she is getting the same job so if more period and expenses are involved in getting a particular job then the real wages is low compared to a person who is doing the same work with less period and less expenses for that person the real wages are high okay i think now you have understood clearly the concept of real wages now let us move on to the actual answer i have anyway i briefly explained the answer one by one all the points i have explained okay now saq 24 what are the determining factors of real wages and so real wages refer to the purchasing power of money wages it is the amount of goods and services that can be bought with the money wages so this is the formula real wages is equal to money wage divided by general price level that is if the price level increases the amount of goods and services that can be bought or the real wages decrease and vice versa 
okay now factors determining real wages the first one price level price level is the main factor which determines the real wage if the price level increases the purchasing power decreases and hence the real wages will be low and vice versa second one method of payment besides money wages if the laborers get additional benefits like free housing medical facilities etc then the real wages will be high third one regularity of employment if the job is regular and permanent then the real wages will be high and vice versa fourth one nature of work real wages are low if the nature of work is risky or dangerous even though the money wages are high for example the real wages of a captain in a submarine miners etc that is people working in mines are lower than the real wages of a clerk in a bank fifth one conditions of work if the working conditions are good like less duration of work proper ventilation and fresh air proper recreational facilities etc then the real wages will be higher compared to those whose working conditions are not good even though their money wages are high sixth one subsidiary earnings if a laborer's work is such that it is possible to earn subsidiary incomes like government doctors teachers etc the real wages will be high compared to that of an engineer who doesn't have the scope of earning subsidiary income seventh one future prospects real wage is said to be higher in those jobs where there is a possibility of promotions and hike in wages and vice versa eighth one social prestige although money wages of a bank officer and a judge may be equal the real wage of the judge will be higher than the bank official due to social status ninth one timely payment if a laborer receives payment regularly and timely the real wage of the laborer will be high although the money wages are low and vice versa and tenth one period and expenses of education if both a graduate and an undergraduate are working as clerks the real wage of the undergraduate is higher because his period of learning and expenses on education are lower compared to the graduate okay so thus these are some of the factors which determine the real wages okay i hope you have understood the answer i repeat again this is a very very frequently asked board exam question okay so if you have any doubt please mention them in the comment box otherwise if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my youtube channel okay so until my next class take care bye bye